Hey, what's up, guys? David here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your notifications, shared, and quick settings panel right here. So, the first thing I want to show you guys is how to, you know, switch between the two modes where you can have them combined into one or have them separate, like it is right now here. So, the first mode you can have them separate, like you see this. So, once you have gotten one UI 7, by default, it's going to be separate similar to what you have on iphones so you have your notification shared separate pull from the right and then from the left you get your quick settings so how do you combine them you're just going to go to this um pencil icon right here and then tap on panel settings and from there you can choose to have them separate or together so when you tap on together that's going to take you back to one ui6 like you know configuration so you can see here when you pull down from whichever side you're going to have them you're going to have the notification sheet and your quick settings all together combined so you can just pull down further to get your quick settings you don't have to pull you know from separate sides like it was initially right so that's how you combine them and uh, if you want to separate them again you just go back to your settings right here panel settings and then go to separate just like that and uh while they're separate as you can see here you can also choose to change sites for what appears where so you can choose to have your quick settings on the left and your notification shed on the right so let's also look at that I'm just going to pull down click on your settings here pull down click on your settings go to panel settings and you see this option at the bottom here quick panel on the left side enable that and you see that now when i pull down from this way you're going to have your quick settings and when you pull down from here you're going to have your notifications so that's also one way to do that right so let me put it back to the way it was i prefer it the original order right there so the other thing we're going to look at here is how to configure these uh, sections right here so you can also just click on the settings icon right there press the icon and uh, then you can move things around the way you want like that as you can see here i can have my brightness controls at the top or oh, move them back to the bottom just like that you have the music at the bottom here like that so it's all up to you how you want to set it up it's now more configurable right here so you can also edit just like you would in android um, 14 when you're a 6 you can move things around you know remove some reorganize them put some ahead of others and stuff like that so the way you want it you can organize it you know to your heart's content and uh, you can also add some features you know you just drag and drop as per usual or you can just remove so that's all the settings and uh, the other thing you can do actually here is uh, edit how much how many lines of icons you want in this mid middle section here that contains you know the other quick toggles right there so you can see where you leave it is where it will stay if you want to lines and click done that's what you're gonna have every time you pull it down like that if I edit it further and make it, let's see, three lines, that's what I'll find every time I scroll down. So yeah, it's really configurable and it's really nice that Samsung enabled that. So that's about the quick settings and notifications panel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.